As James Blackwell, second place finisher in Wiznet's iEthernet Design Challenge explains it, in today's world of connectedness, people are becoming accustomed to easy access to information. Whether it's internet, television, or mobile devices, there's never been more ways to achieve this access. James Projects offers a more passive way to stay connected without having to be beholden to so many devices that demand your complete attention. With his LED news ticker, a glance is all that's needed to stay on top of the latest events. It's large, the content is edited down to headline topics, and because space is at a premium on the board, you know what's slowly ticking off is of value. While smaller scrolling message displays can be annoying and don't demand attention, just put a large version on the side of a building and watch the interest it generates. James Project makes it easy to implement, thanks to the help of the WizNet Wiz A10 MJ Ethernet controller. The LED news ticker consists of two primary components, a main board and eight slave boards which piggyback to dot matrix LED displays. The main board uses a microchip PIC18F microcontroller connected to a WizNet WizA10MJ Ethernet module. The modules use a WizNet W5100 hardwired TCP IP Ethernet controller to provide a simple to use interface to the internet. The main board obtains local network information, retrieves news headlines from an internet RSS feed, and parses them to a suitable format. Finally, this data is sent out to the slave boards to create a scrolling news ticker. Each slave consists of a microchip PIC18F microcontroller, a 1.32 inch bicolor 8x8 LED matrix, and some driving circuitry. The slave boards are responsible for receiving pixel data from the main board on the SPI bus and continually drawing it on their respective display. The LED news ticker requires no interaction to operate. Once powered up, the device will immediately connect to the internet and download news updates every 15 minutes. The device handles all DHCP leasing and DNS resolving, allowing dynamic IP addresses to be utilized. To see more details for this project, including schematics and code, be sure to visit www.circuitseller.com.